ask a hundred kids what they want to be when they grow up, and you'll get close to a hundred different answers. When I grow up, I want to be a tennis player. I want to be a football player. I want to be a singer. When I grow up, I want to be an actress. Not a lot of answers have anything to do with science, technology, engineering, or math. Guys, we're done with the math! So many kids sitting in the classroom today are, are thinking, why am I taking algebra? Why do I have to do this? If we can give them some kind of a spark, that they can see this is important, it's going to be meaningful in their life, they can get excited about that. I think we're leaving a lot of untapped potential on the table. Um, you never know where that next Einstein is going to be. We've all seen the headlines, and many say to call it a crisis is hardly exaggeration. Uh, we have over 480,000 jobs, and most of them are in science and mathematics. We don't have enough kids coming out of high school ready for those courses in college. Without putting is new engineers into the pipeline, yeah. without graduating more engineers that are going to stay here and help this country be great, we're just going to lose our competitive edge. Experts say, in a large way, learning is all about making connections with a teacher, a subject, an activity that creates a spark. It could be a space camp, it could be a coding exercise. When they see the reality of that, there's some relevance to this coursework in their life, they get excited. That's why we here at Lockheed Barton sponsor a wide variety of STEM-related activities. Our hope is that kids will find that connection, whether it's Firm Bank Aviation Camp, where Lockheed Martin partners with the Firm Bank Science Center to teach kids about flight, Starbase Academy, a summer camp focused on aviation and flight, Engineers in the Classroom, which provides an opportunity for Lockheed and Martin employees to meet with students in the classroom and engage in hands-on activities and discussion, E-Week, Science Olympiad, First Robotics, there's also an aeronautics design competition and CodeQuest, a high school competition that challenges teams to solve problems using software coding. Do these programs work? We asked Rishi Raj, a Lockheed Martin intern right out of high school. He placed third in CodeQuest despite being without his two other teammates. He was also a volunteer for the Fernbank summer program. That's where kids can start to connect the dots and actually understand that math is not just a bunch of symbols and numbers on a board. Math is actually a tool you can use to accomplish things in the world. And it can spark that special interest that will have a difference in their future life. Just having that initial exposure, initial experience in those areas will change their life. Changing lives, changing the way kids think about science, technology, engineering, and math. For so long, our general population has been fearful of science. But now you begin seeing people more and more engaged with it and open-minded to improving and becoming better. I'm, I'm optimistic that we can uh, meet the challenge. But if we really want to make that culture shift, it will take teamwork. We all have to work together. Companies, schools, community leaders. None of us can do this alone. We all need to help inspire our kids in STEM. It's critical to the future of our country. If we succeed, then, when we ask kids that familiar question, we may start to hear some different answers. When I grow up, I want to be a car designer. When I grow up, I want to be a mechanical engineer. When I grow up, I want to be a pediatric orthopedic surgeon. When I grow up, I want to be an aerospace engineer. When I grow up, I want to be a forensic biologist. When I was growing up, I wanted to become an engineer, and now I am. I am a materials engineer working for Lockheed Martin in Marietta, Georgia.